Hey guys and welcome back. This is another video to help you on your next attempt at the ASVAB. This is going to be covering some questions on the mathematical knowledge. And I'm not here to waste your time, so let's dive right in. Gotta love the easy questions like this one. It wants to know what fraction is the shaded region here? Well, notice there are only five sections here, but because of only half of this one being shaded, you can kind of draw a line here to see that there's actually 10 sections, and one of the 10 is shaded in. That means our answer is D. So in this case, it says four ounces is what fraction of a pound? It tells you one pound is 16 ounces. In other words, one ounce is one over 16 of a pound. But we have four of them, so we actually have four over 16 here, since we have four of these guys. Well, four over 16, if you divide both the top and bottom by four, ends up giving you one fourth, which is answer C. Which has the smallest value? Well, because these are negative numbers, we want the largest number because that means that's the furthest in the negative direction that we could go. So which one of these is most negative? Well, half is less than one, so that loses to this guy. Seven over six is more than one because seven divided by six is bigger than six over six, which would be equal to one. So that means that this guy is larger than one, meaning in the negative direction, it is further to the left. So our answer here is D. So what is 5 eighths as a decimal? Well, I know right off the bat that 4 over 8 is going to be 1 half, so 0. 0.5. So that means I have one more out of 8 left. So looking at this, how am I going to decide how much more this is? Well, I know 1 fourth is 0. 0.25, so half of that would be 0. 0.125. If I add these two together, I end up with 0. 0.625, which is answer B. So for 22, they want you to take 5 over 9, and they want it to be rewritten as a number with 36 on the bottom instead. Well, to go from 9 to 36, we have to multiply by 4. So that means we have to multiply the top by 4 as well. 5 times 4 is 20, so that means our final answer here is B. So here's some more fraction work here. We got 2 and 4 fifths divided by 7. And in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is convert this to an improper fraction so then we can actually do the division. So how do I do that? Well, I take the whole number, multiply it by the bottom, and add it to the top. So 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 is 14 over that 5. Then we're going to divide by 7. Lots of different ways you can do this as multiplying by 1 over 7 would be the same thing as dividing by doing the reciprocal, or you can just move it to the bottom knowing that you're dividing by it. Either way, this 14 and 7 are going to cancel out because 14 divided by 7 is 2, and it gets rid of the term down there, leaving our final answer as 2 over 5, which is A. So I'm actually going to do this subtraction of fractions here without converting this to an improper fra fraction. And I'm going to do that by saying 4 minus 1, I know it's just 3. So really we're looking also at subtracting this 4 over 5, so 3 minus 4 over 5. Well, here's the deal. I'm going to be left with 2 because I know it's not a whole 1, so I'm going to be carrying some over. But what would be 1 minus that 4 over 5 to give me the leftover fraction? Well, if I have 4 fifths being taken away, then 1 of those fifths will be left over. So our final answer should be 2 and 1 fifth, which is A. So when you're multiplying fractions, you can actually just multiply straight across, but you can also cancel out with things to reduce these fractions to make that multiplication easier. For example, in this case, we have 5 and 15. Well, if I divide both of those by 5, we get 1 over 3. Same thing here, 4 and 8. If I divide both of those by 4, I get 1 and 2. So now if I multiply straight across, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 3 is 6. So our final answer is A. So I'm actually going to do number 26 by canceling things out instead of just multiplying straight across. I know that 16 is divisible by 8, so I'm going to cross those both out. 16 divided by 8 is just 2. I also know that 2 divided by 2 over here will just cancel that out to 1. So really all I'm looking at here is 1 times 1 times 3, which is just 3. So our answer is C. We are going to be dividing this 13 and 3 fourths by the five work sites. First thing I'm going to do is convert this to an improper fraction. So 13 times 4 is going to give me 52. 
Adding that 3 on top gives me 55 over 4. This makes things a bit easier because when we divide by 5, or in other words, put it on the bottom of the fraction, I can cancel that out with the top. So that means 55 divided by 5 is just 11. So we end up with 11 over 4. Let's convert that back into a mixed number. Well, 4 times 2 gives me 8. So that means we have 2 whole. And then 11 minus that 8 that's left over is going to give me 3 out of the 4 still left over, which is going to be answer. D. If you didn't know, I'm doing these videos for free, so how about you help a man out and hit the like button below. It helps me know how many people are actually engaging with this video, and it helps me see how many of you make it to the end. With that said, have a fantastic day. I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB. My name is Daniel Caproni, and this has been your ASVAB Help.